Hello and welcome. Jimmy Cube coming to you with acrylic pour today. Some really weird and wonderful colours that I've custom made and I'm just, I'm not sure about them but you know I have to give them a try because they were in my head. Um, they seem really um, not the norm at all. <laughs> so this was a custom colour it was actually a metallic gold and I put in burnt umber and a little blob of black. So I have got another one mixed up the same. It, it was the same, but I didn't put as much burnt umber and black and you can see the difference. They're still quite beautiful, but they're custom colors that I'm working with and uh, as I love doing, so I thought I'm going to do a painting today with my custom colours. So lots of people have got this kind of decor in their home that goes with these real earthy looking colours. So they always sell well, if that's what you're looking to do, they do sell well. So, um, but I thought I have to do this, whether it turns out looking like a mud pie, who knows, but let's um let's keep on the positive side hey and and let's hope that it works out into something really nice but it's just beautiful um it's just a beautiful color because it's really glistening because of the metallic in it the metallic gold in it it's just beautiful i'm not going to worry too much about the edges of my canvas at this moment in time because um well, you can either finish off your, uh, your edges after with the, one of the colours you've used or you, you end, if you end up blowing or swiping, it can automatically go over the edges without you having to do anything. So, so that's the therapeutic part, I find, is doing the spreading out of the colours. So what I want to do to that is just add a little bit of water to thin it down a bit. So if you're adding water to your paints after you've mixed them, just, just a little bit at a time, so as it doesn't go lumpy. There you go. Just a little bit more so um, I can um, use that to blow with if I so choose to. Rightio. The colours that I'm going to use on here is going to pop your socks. Um, which way am I going to go with this? I think I'm going to do a sort of a blowing upwards. So I might... It's going to hopefully end up something like a um, autumny look. We're coming into autumn in Australia. Now this is wicker, which actually, the, I think it's the cool or the warm yellow is very similar to wicker. So this is kind of a orangey yellow, I guess. So I'm just going to... Now this might go into an absolute mud pie. I'm really, really hoping it doesn't because I want it to look like a beautiful autumn garden. This is my art therapy time, people. So I'm um, not looking for, for perfection because that is just silly. Um, I'm just looking for something that's pleasing to my eye. It doesn't have to please everybody. Remember your art, your rules, your way. That's a nice bright yellow. Remember I'm going for autumny colors in here, but with a different background rather than go black or white. Now this is your cool red, but I've added some of the, um, oh, what's it called? I think it's called cool mist. It's, it's just like a metallic, cleary kind of metallic. So it makes basically any paints metallic. Now that's glistening. So that looks absolutely beautiful. Rightio, I need something lighter in there again. So I'm going to put some of my gold. 
So this is just the metallic gold. Now I've kept this paint on the thicker side. It's not like runny. I mean, you could really stand, well, there's not that much paint in there now, but you could really stand your stick up in it. And then of course, I'll just add a bit of white, just a bit of wiggles, do the wiggles on it. definitely want to just put some of this up here that gold in that I'll think of a name to call my custom color but I just want to um, this is just a thought in my head remember so it may turn out absolutely a yuck This is a heat embossing wand. It's a heat wand. So it's used to burst air bubbles and it often helps cells pop up. So it is not a hair dryer or a blower. Um, now I'm gonna use my hair dryer. So this is just a mini hair dryer. I'm gonna move it up a little way because I'm gonna blow downwards and I'll end up, I've actually, I can't believe that I've got white jeans on today. I have got, um an apron on but white jeans who would have been as mental as to do that when you're painting anyway me 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 That's gorgeous just on its own. I'm probably going to cover that with this colour now, but let's give it a go. Let's take it nice and easy. I've got too much paint on, way too much. But the colours are absolutely, oh my goodness, they are stunning. Stunning, stunning. Oh my goodness, that is just stunning. Oh, oh I'm so excited with that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That is so, the colors absolutely popping off the canvas. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just look at it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Even just blowing that gold in the top bit, all my edges are covered now in paint because the paint just blew over. The bit of the edges that are not, I'll just finger pop with the paint that's blown off. I really, I've got a 60 by 80 large gallery wrap canvas I really wanted to do something special on. And I think that I've just found my special. So I absolutely love this. And I'll bring you down to show you that these colors absolutely pop and they look so amazing together I could not I could not have wished for getting a better color combo that is stunning 
if you want to try that combo. It really does work for autumn look. I'll go over it with my heat wand. Really, when that has a um, coat of varnish on it or a coat of resin, it is really going to be something special, I believe. So I'm very, very happy with that. Very happy. I am just going to bring you down for a close-up because you never can see the gorgeousness from my camera up there for whatever reason, but I'm going to bring you down. Oh, just look at this shimmery, shiny goodness in here. The colours are just absolutely beautiful together. I did do four balloon kisses. Don't judge. That's my thing. You don't have to do it. But the lovely little effects in here, you always see some strange creatures or flora or fauna pop up that is just beautiful i am really really super duper happy with that i hope that you like that it's something completely different colors that you either love or hate and that's okay either way <laughs> um but it's just trying something different and i can't wait for this to dry and see what it actually dries like but I know that if all goes well and it, it um, has a coat of resin on it's gonna look pretty stunning so thank you you lovely people thanks for joining me in my art therapy session if you haven't tried it you must do it's absolutely good for the soul so until tomorrow my lovelies bye for now